hope everyone's having a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out a new foundation hack that I've been trying where you do your highlight, contour, and blush before your foundation. And if you'd like to see how that goes, then please make sure to keep on watching. Let's get started. So the very first thing is to moisturize your face and also prime. These are very important steps. I feel like despite whatever foundation routine or foundation hack you're going to be trying, it's definitely, definitely important to start with your face. Now, next up, I'm going in with concealer. The concealer I'm using today is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I'm using the shade Beautiful Bronze. It's sort of kind of like my actual highlighter shade, like it's good for me to highlight with. But using this technique, you can actually get away with using a super, super light concealer. I just decided to stay sort of with this shade. And then I'm going to go in with my contour, which is from Juvia's Place in their foundation sticks. And I'm in the shade Congo. I'm using the shade Congo and it's super, super dark. Again, you can stay with your normal contour shade, but I feel like because foundation is going to go over it, I decided to go super dark. And y'all, this is like the trick, this red lipstick, game changer. And I'm just applying that in between my highlighter as well as my contour shade. And that's going to serve as my blush. Um, feel free to use whatever lipstick, red lipstick you'd like. The only thing I'll say is if you decide to go in with a liquid lipstick, so one that dries matte, you would want to blend that in sooner than later. But since I was just using like a regular lipstick that doesn't dry off, I was able to go in and first of all blend my contour. And I went in first with a brush and then decided to go in with my beauty blender, the base of my beauty blender. I'm taking the same contour brush, I'm just using that to kind of dab in that red shade. And you want to make sure you're not dragging this all over your face because it will make your face red. Um, once I was done, I went in to blend in my highlighter. And y'all, like honestly, anytime I do this step, I notice that one thing is I don't use as much product. And secondly, like when I'm done blending everything out, even before I go in with my actual foundation, I always feel like, do I even need foundation? Like it's just so seamless and so beautiful. But I guess just for the purposes of this video, we're definitely going to go in with foundation. But I feel like if I do this routine, I can definitely get away with doing like a whole no foundation routine. So this is just me blending everything. I'm also going to blend my nose contour with a brush and, you know, the good stuff. All right, all right, all right. The foundation I'm using today is going to be my Juvia Stays Velvety Matte Foundation. I'm actually in the shade 130 Mali. Um, this is actually like a perfect shade for me. And so I'm just applying this to the areas where I technically didn't highlight or contour, which is technically underneath my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead. But I took the Beauty Blender and actually blended this all over my face. And I did go over um, the highlight and contour a little bit just to make them seem more like blended and seamless. After that, I went in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW55 and I just used that to brush all over my entire face. This is a step I like to do before I bake or before I, you know, set anything. I feel like it really helps to make sure like everything looks seamless, like blended. So I took my MAC Raisin Blush and applied this over the area where I applied that red lipstick as my blush. And I went in with this eyeshadow from my Nuban 2 palette from Juvia's Place and I used that to contour my face. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. I'm using a really light shade in number 20. And the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like everything's kind of blended in now and so I needed that extra pump to kind of make sure my face stays highlighted. And then I went in and, you know, dusted that off. And y'all, can you see how seamless this looks? First of all, like this technique, except from not using too much product, I also feel like it really helps to make sure that I don't need to spend so much time blending. 
anyways i went and did the rest of my makeup off camera and now i'm applying my highlighter and the highlight i'm using today is from milani this is their baked bronzer in the shade so real and i'm just highlighting the areas that i would usually like to highlight I went in with my lip liner from MAC Cosmetics and this is the Chestnut Lip Liner. For lipstick today, I'm going with this nude lipstick that I've been loving for a while now. And this is the Chocolate by um, Juvia's Place and it's in the shade Muted. And I'm just applying that all over my lips. To set my entire face, I went in with this setting refresher spray from Milk Cosmetics. And I made sure to fan that down so that, you know, it wasn't moving anywhere. And baby do you see this I've completely fallen in love with this technique yes it definitely helps to make sure you minimize the amount of product and if you apply it very well everything seems so seamless and I feel like if you're not a fan of blending or if you're not super comfortable blending super well this is definitely for you but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video God willing stay blessed bye